Did you know about this little bug where conditional formatting of duplicate values doesn't work for leading zeros? I just discovered this. I've been doing Excel for 25, 30 years. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Here we go. I wanted to highlight this column to flag any duplicate postcode entries. So conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, click OK. And yeah, the 6,000, great. I wanted it to flag that, but these two are not the same thing. You know, they shouldn't be flagging. Even this, if I highlight this little column and go uh, table, um, remove duplicates, okay. And let's just say post purely on postcode, click OK. Okay, it removed duplicates, but these two are still there. So it's saying one thing in Excel is saying, hey, they're not duplicates. And something else is saying, hey, they are duplicates. Really annoying. Um, Countifs does the same thing, picks up the fact that it's a duplicate. Right, so what's the workaround? Um, well, here you go. This is what I had to do. Equals exact. All right, I want to check if this comma matches exactly with anything in this column or click on a cell control space bar. Okay, close the bracket. And that gives you a spillable range starting from the top cell, which is this one. Okay, and then this one, it says, okay, this is an exact match with this. Great. So there's one occurrence. And notice the next one isn't a match. So it's saying this does not match that. So there's only one match. Great. If I happen to have another match, see, I now get a true because there's two matches. So how do I then turn that into like something I can use for my conditional formatting? Well, what I want to do really is to check if there's more than one true. And the simplest way I think to do that is to either multiply this by one to get ones and zeros and then sum this. The other way to, to get that ones and zeros is something called the unary operator. Okay, which is not something I ever really do. Let me just, annoyingly, this inherits the formatting from the cell above. Okay, what is that? Well, you might see people do a double dash. Maybe you've come across a spreadsheet with that in and thought, what on earth is that? It basically turns trues and falses into ones and zeros. Why? What? How does it work? Okay, well, if you just put one negative sign, it does the job. Okay, it turns things into zeros, but minus ones. It's just a little trick to force trues and falses into zeros and ones. And people generally don't want these minuses. Um, so that's why you put the double, so the minus the minus gives you a plus. So that's what that double dash does. So either way, I quite like the times one because it's a bit more understandable for everybody, but the double dash works nicely. Um, and then simply sum, okay, the entire column. So this 801 is saying it appears twice. And I just want to say, okay, is that greater than one? It is. So it's true means it appears multiple times. It's a genuine duplicate. And if I delete that, it'll say false. Okay. I can then simply copy this formula and paste it here. Okay. I can just delete this one. And this is my CF check or my duplicate check. I should really call it duplicate check. Okay. And then in this column, I can just write reference this other one. So conditional formatting. Uh, let's go clear rules from selected cells and then I'll add my own. So conditional formatting, uh, new rules, user formula. And this is the key thing that catches people out. My cursor, I've already highlighted these cells. So my cursor, really the active cell is this one, the 6,000, which is row six. So I can just say equals this cell F6 and then press F4 a couple of times on, on your keyboard, which toggles the dollar signs. So one, two, that leaves the dollar in front of the F because that's the column reference. Not that it really matters in this case, but the rows will change. It'll check different rows as the sort of check goes down the page. Format this with uh, a red background, maybe a bold white font and click OK and OK. 
and there we go where the two trues are. If I change that to a 6,000. Okay, so there we go. Weird. Have you come across that? Literally came across it last week for the first time. Never knew it was an issue. Um, what do you think? And does that double dash now make more sense? Um, have you got a different technique? Let me know. Okay, I'll catch you all in the next video.